I'm Clyde Lewis, and you're about to listen to a sample of today's Ground Zero show. If you'd like to hear the podcast in its entirety, sign up at Aftermath.media. I'm Clyde Lewis, and this is Ground Zero. The number is to call tonight, 503-225-0860. That's 503-225-0860. Coming to you coast to coast. It's Friday. My gosh. It's crept on us, and now it's here. Weekend's waiting. A lot of things to talk about tonight. Um, I know we're not going to talk about the obvious because we don't know if it's even real, and that is the situation between Russia, Ukraine, the United States. We had a discussion, what, at lunch today in the office and we we're asking what do you think and thinking yeah we'll wait and see what happens i don't know this this is really kind of outrageous we're hoping that it doesn't come to that and if it does you can be sure that we're going to be talking about it on the show but tonight i got something else i want to talk about we always try to get you information before you know uh to prepare you for what's coming and uh there, there's been a lot of stories in the news lately a uh, number of strange stories, anything from satellite failures and even malfunctions with automobile, uh, automobiles. I mean, and this may or may not be of concern. I guess it depends on how you think and, and whether or not you see things as important for what is to come. You see things happen and you start to see a pattern and you have to kind of connect the dots. And that's what we do here at Ground Zero. That's the whole idea of the show is to connect the dots and hopefully come up with a solution or at least come up with an idea of where things are headed. So what triggered the idea for this story and the show tonight, the, the, the topic that we're going to approach, what, what triggered it was there was a story that I saw and it appeared in the Seattle times about a guy. He had a very interesting malfunction happen in his old Mazda. Well, it's not really that old. It was just a Mazda. The guy by the name of Dave Welding got into his 2016 Mazda hatchback. He realized that the day was going to be an eye-opener because the computer chips in his car, something happened. Something happened in his car. Malfunction. I don't know if it was the chips. It was, I mean, it turns out, okay, here's the thing. Around the same time that this guy, Dave Welding, had a problem with his Mazda, same thing was happening to other local Mazda owners who had this in common. They they drove a tw- okay. There was two other guys that I know of that, that, that I was reading about in the story. 2014, 2017 model Mazdas. We had the 2016 Mazda hatchback, and they all had their radios, for example, uh, tuned to this KUOW 94.9 on the FM dial. It was an NPR station. And that's all it took, right? It, somehow this is what they claim. Somehow the signal. The station sent to the HD radio as part of the Mazda infotainment center. As Welding had said, he said, well, it fried it. It fried a major component in in the radio of the car. He said that frying made the radios only play one station. That's KUOW, it's NPR station. It went from the infotainment center, went through the infotainment center, Killed the Bluetooth, killed the navigation, killed the clock, killed the vehicle stats. Bam, 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 bam. It was like Hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey had taken over his car and said, can't do that, Dave. Just can't do that, Dave. Now, that movie was released, what, 50-some-odd, 54 years ago? And now, (laughs) we have to ask ourselves, how many Hal's are about to malfunction, creating an electronic armageddon i know this is isolated this is right it's like you know a couple of mazdas they malfunction take out a bluetooth navigation system they take out clocks they take out vehicle stats things go haywire the cargo i mean technology we you know we've heard that technology is going to answer all of our problems but it's creating them too right the internet of things is going to bring us convenience 5G will give us faster service, and Starlink satellites will bring Internet to the entire world. That is, if Elon Musk can keep them in space. Apparently, SpaceX, there was a report that SpaceX, 40 to 49 of its low-orbit Starlink satellites, they were launched February 3rd, allegedly were hit by 
a geomagnetic storm. And so 40, 49 of these things crashed to Earth. Some say that that was a good cover story. That Something, you know, they say, well, geomagnetic storm, of course, but, you know, I don't know. But China, of course, they, they had something to say about this. They're not, they're not pleased. That is, they see this happen. And now they're saying that Musk's satellite bombardment is making space a dangerous place for other satellites. The United States didn't respond to requests for information when SpaceX's Starlink satellites last year came dangerously close to a Chinese space station. China's, oh, they're mad. China accused the United States of not taking responsibility for problems caused by satellites launched by Elon Musk, highlighting the potential risk for conflict between the United States and China. China notified the United Nations in December that there had been close encounters last July and October when satellites approached China's space stations. The United States responded last month saying that there had been no need to send notifications to China because the incidents hadn't met the threshold of established emergency collision criteria. This is what SpaceX said. SpaceX put a statement out that the deorbiting satellites pose zero collision risk with other satellites and by design... Demise upon atmospheric reentry, meaning no orbital debris is created and no satellite parts hit the ground. This unique situation demonstrates the great lengths that the Starlink team has gone to ensure the system is on the leading edge of on-orbit debris mitigation. However, there was a sighting. Uh, tons of people were sending me video. Apparently, sighting of some of that debris re-entering Earth's atmosphere in Mexico. Websites were publishing the viral video of the debris shooting across the sky. It reminded me of when we had something SpaceX exploded over Washington State. In fact, one of our producers at uh, TalkCast PDX it's here in, in Portland was outside walking his dog when something shot across the sky, exploded into little pieces. It turned out to be a, uh, a rocket booster or something that was a, a SpaceX booster that uh, came down and broke up as it was entering the atmosphere. So kind of raising this up here, the, I mean, just kind of putting these out there, raising them up the flagpole to see if anybody salutes. But this gives us a hint of, of what could happen if there's some sort of high altitude electromagnetic pulse or CME, if this is the case, something to think about. 503-225-0860. It's 503-225-0860. I'm Clyde Lewis. We'll be back with more Ground Zero. Don't go away. You just listened to a segment of Ground Zero. If you'd like to hear previous shows along with having access to our online library and social media platform, sign up now at Aftermath.media. It's only $10 a month, and there's also yearly specials to fit your budget. Again, go to Aftermath.media. 